it radically. I don't want to say that because I don't want to limit ourselves to saying that we have to change it. Okay. Um, but let me give you an example of something that we did the other night that I felt was very indicative of the path that we're on. So we had Daniel Hu. I heard about that table. Right. So we we took a we had a, a, a well-known chef in New York City at Eleven Madison Park. Daniel Hu came in to the restaurant, and Chef Matt and I were talking about how can we show him the path that we're on, the vision that we're on, the way that we're going to take the restaurant. This often requires breaking rules, right? And that's what we've all done, like I said before, on the plate. For a long time, you break the rules, and the end result is something that's very different. So, in Alinea, it's a Michelin three-star restaurant. There's a certain expectation of elegance, of professionalism, of decor, the way the room will be, the way the service will be. We took a very large table. There were six. There were six people, and we piled the table with uh, leaves, oak leaves that had fallen off the trees. So when they walked into the to the dining room and they approached their table. There was a pile of leaves about a foot and a half, two feet tall, covering the entire table. And when they sat down, one of the things that I experienced growing up as a child in Michigan was you would rake the leaves in your front yard out to the street into a big pile. You and your friends would jump in them, play around in them, and then you would light them on fire and burn them. <laughs> And environmentally, that's not eco-friendly anymore. They don't allow you to do that. But two things came from that. One was that playful memory of playing in leaves, touching them, listening to them, the way leaves smell. To me, that's very fall, right? And two was the smell of once they're burnt. So we piled up these leaves, and we buried in the leaves uh, pumpkins. And underneath, we hollow out the pumpkin, and underneath the pumpkin is the amuse-bouche that they, they couldn't see. So when they walked up to the table, they saw pumpkins buried in a pile of leaves. So they were asked to take the leaves and brush them off the table. So now, there six people are going like this, and the leaves are going everywhere, on the floor, all over the dining room, and they're laughing. <laughs> They're giggling, they're smiling. Some of them are talking about their childhood memories, growing up in New York, the way the leaves smelled, the way it sounded when they were pushing them on the floor. And then once they got down to a table full of pumpkins, the front of the house would lift the pumpkin, revealing the canopy, the amuse-bouche. That was an element of surprise, because they didn't know it was there. They thought the pumpkins were for decoration. And then they eat the canopy. So the big question that we had when we decided we were going to do this was, we're going to make a total mess of the dining room. There's going to be leaves everywhere. Do we pick the leaves up, or do we leave them on the floor? And ultimately, we left them on the floor so that everybody that was walking in and out of that dining room, and that was the, the dining room nearest the restrooms, so that everybody at one point in the evening walked through that and walked through the leaves. <laughs> and they could hear the leaves, they could feel the leaves, they were kicking the leaves. People would come by and scoop them up with their feet. That theatrical element, but yet makes sense in the, in, the, in, the, in the scope of explaining something that was from my childhood that's very indicative of the Midwest and the fall, is where we're going. And it breaks the rules. Because you're not supposed to, you're supposed to have a pristine dining room. Like, for years, if something would fall on the floor, we would take a sweeper and sweep it up. Because, oh my goodness, you couldn't have a piece of paper on the, on the floor. That was against the protocol. That was against the rules. But now, there are no rules. Throw the leaves on the floor and leave them there. Let everybody experience it. So... We out of time?